Hi, and welcome to the Mechanic Series. This is a very special episode because we're coming to you from the U.S. And not only that, we have this Super Duty here, 6.7 liter. Let's see what we got. So, we open the box. We got the power module. We have our main harness. And our power, ground, and communication harness. But normally, first step is find the injector connectors. It's a little hard on this one. So luckily, we can go right here at the ECU connection. This one right here in the middle is the one we need. So, let's get started. Let's remove this all the way. Undo the little plastic clip at the bottom. That holds it tight. There's also another one to loosen the harness more. So now we have room and this is flexible. So we're gonna replace the original ECU connection here with our connector, bring the other one to our module as well. If you notice, it's labeled on here. We have the ECM side and we have the injector side. It's really important that we connect the harness in the proper direction. We want the original harness from the engine to go to the injector side because that original harness feeds the wires to the injector. Our connection, which we plug into the ECU, the other side needs to come to our ECM side. So let's get started. Now we take our harness, replace the original ECU connection, line it up nice and straight, slide it on until you can't go anymore, then begin to lift and press the latch so you get it quick. Route this around, now you have the original harness that goes to the injectors, you have our harness that goes to the ECM, and now you're ready to place our module on top. Now, before we go any further, we can get our power and ground connection right here. Next, start with your injector side. Slide it on. Same deal. Nice and easy. Do the same with ours. Make sure it's snug. Nice and easy. Now, we're ready for the power and ground. Easy enough, the battery is right here. Here's a good power source. We can remove this 10 millimeter and we can have a good connection there. On the ground side though, we have another 10 millimeter, but that's not necessarily metal. It's coated a little bit. So we're gonna try and go to this bolt that's directly on the chassis over here. So now we move to the point where we need some tools. Fortunately for us, all we need is a 10 millimeter and eight millimeter, whether it's a wrench or a ratchet, that's all you need. And I almost forgot the most important thing, this size. Now that we got it all connected, let's start it up and see how it goes. Now, let's take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us at the farm for this episode of the Mechanic Series. Until next time, tune safe.